Welcome to Pwned. I'm Sean Welby. And I'm Matt Cuttle. On this month's show, we've had a bunch of producers come down to the Pwned studio for some exclusive interviews about some of EA's most anticipated titles. Coming up on the show, Matt goes in depth with BioWare's David Silverman about sci fi RPG Mass Effect 3 and gets some very exciting news he wasn't expecting. Sean chats to SSX producer Sean Smiley about how his love of comic books has shaped the game's look. FIFA 12's lead producer David Rutter joins us in the studio to update us on the latest and possibly greatest game in the series. And Sean discusses the heavyweight lineup behind Kingdoms of Amala Reckoning. FIFA 12 is fast approaching and there's so much to talk about in the new game, we literally couldn't fit it all into last month's show. Which is why lead producer David Rutter popped into the studio this time to tell us more. Last time you were on the show, you uh, told us a bunch of stuff about FIFA. The game's yeah. almost out. What new stuff do you have to tell us? Part of it is the EA Sports Football Club. Uh, we announced that at E3, uh, and also our kind of developments in career mode this year, kind of expanding on the manager mode experience. Okay, so let's start at the top. The football club, what's it all about? Uh, you'll create a profile. That profile is going to stay with you forevermore. Uh, and basically what will happen is each time you play the game, you will earn experience points. Each time you get experience points, you will level up. Uh, when you level up, you'll be able to compare your progress, your skill, your dedication directly against your friends in your kind of social group on your console. Uh, you can also go on to easportsfootball.com and compare it wider than just your, your kind of immediate friends on your console. See who the best FIFA gamer is, see who's doing great, and also see some news and information about what they've been up to. Beyond that though, I mean, I'm a big football fan. I think people know that I'm a Leicester fan. So with a feature we call Support Your Club, You'll be able to pledge your allegiance to the team that you support in real life uh, and then basically when you're playing the game not only will you be accumulating experience points for yourself uh, but you'll also be accumulating it along with all the Leicester fans for uh, that team. Uh, and during the week, uh, the average kind of score of the, the fans of the clubs uh, will see the teams go up and down the league tables. At the end of the week, it's the end of the season. At that point, teams will be promoted or relegated based on the rules of the, the leagues that those clubs are in. Uh, and it's a live service that kicks off this year with FIFA 12 for no additional cost. Uh, and what will happen is we will kind of take inspiration from the real world of football, yeah. rip headlines and fixtures and kind of cool results or interesting situations, throw them into the game to keep it fresh and exciting for our fans throughout the year. And uh, what new changes have you got in the career mode? We've done a lot of work on player and manager AI. So you'll see uh, a new morale system for players. Uh, players will become unhappy because they're not being paid enough. They're not being played enough. Uh, they don't feel that the club's doing well enough or, or you know, they, they kind of think that the captain on their team's kind of weak. Uh, the managers that you're competing against will come in and, and will be kind of uh, serving you curveballs, for want of a different term, uh, basically trying to steal away your, your best players or, or, you know, offering lanes for players. A, a bunch of cool stuff um, that we haven't really had in the game before. Uh, we've done uh, a massive new transfer deadline day feature uh, where we've kind of increased the fidelity and activity during the transfer deadline day where you'll see multiple rounds of negotiation against uh, 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 kind of clubs and, and, and players that you're interested in. Now, last time uh, you were with us, you didn't uh, announce who was uh, going to be the new voiceover yes. alongside Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is now doing it. That's right. I, I guess he had to record the entire back catalogue of everything that has been said or will be said. How long did that take him? Uh, it's taken a great deal of time. Uh, thankfully, he's a, a, a true pro. I guess it's because they kind of do it for a living. I guess so. Uh, and, you know, uh, working with those guys has been brilliant. David, we were chatting to uh, Solomon Kalu the other Thank day you. and he had this to say. I think in the game he make me a little bit slow. So if we can fix that, that'll be good. So David, can you make him quicker? Is that something you can just do a little um, favour for him? We have over 100 editors that go in and set all the numbers and then we have over 1,000 people that review that to make sure it's accurate and authentic. We try to avoid speaking specifically to football players to allow them to say whether or not they're faster or stronger or better mm. passes. Thank you very much for clearing that up. Solomon Kalu, in a word, no. Yeah.